really being authentic with our feelings, not trying to hide them, not trying to protect them, not trying to distract away from them, really welcoming them whatever they are, saying, oh, this is, this is part of my pathway to healing. I'm not going to push this anger away. I'm not going to push this resentment or this, this uh, envy or this jealousy. I'm not going to push it away. I'm not going to say that's bad. Oh, of course students shouldn't have envy or anger. Jesus never says you should not have anger. He just says anger is never justified. So he's actually saying welcome the emotions, allow the emotions, and when they come up don't get into ego justifications of why you're justified and righteous in having the emotions. Because their anger is never justified. You will never find a reason, a good reason to be angry. In fact, anger could not even occur unless you believe that you were mistreated by something not yourself. If you were mistreated by something outside of you, that's the condition for anger. And Jesus knows that there is nothing out there forcing that anger. So he, that's why he's saying, just don't justify it. That's when you pause and ask for help. <laughs> that's when you pause and say, oh, I'm never upset for the reason I think. Instead of going into a litany of reasons why you're justified in being angry, he's saying, don't do that. Pause and turn to the Holy Spirit. Turn to me and give me that anger. I will take that anger from you if you offer it willingly. But don't justify it. Don't start looking at your brothers and sisters or the world or the environment or something in time and space and start to justify it because you, all you're doing is you're going to put yourself in a, in a loop. Uh, and that loop is hell. And he doesn't want us to, to stay in that loop of hell. He wants us to wake up to the kingdom of heaven. So really, it's, this is a very straightforward path. and. And we have already discussed here that it doesn't seem easy at all, but it is very direct. And he does say at one point, if you're not experiencing what this Course is pointing you towards, perhaps you have not done what the Course asks. <laughs> so he's not just going to say, oh, you know, I leave it all up to you. He's saying, I. I offer you my instruction, I offer you my guidance, I offer you my help, and I, and I implore you to join with me and share my mind. Mm 